I watched this baby be born and her mommy raise her. And she has gotten so big and beautiful. It's hard to believe that this is the baby pigeon that I showed y'all just maybe a few weeks ago. Oh, and she's so sweet, isn't she? Oh. Baby girl, <laughs> you wanna go? You wanna go have a spend the night party? We'll call Kayla. See if she wants to have a spend the night party. Shay Shay. Hmm. You got babies in your tummy. Hmm. You ready to go brush your teeth? Huh? You ready to go brush? You ready to go brush your teeth? Shay Shay. You ready to go eat you some supper? Hmm. Baby girl, you ready to eat you some shop? Rick will brush your teeth. Huh. I do this, piggy. Mm. I do this, piggy. Mommy, baby. I got hay, hay in my mouth, JJ. You're a good girl. I love you. Don't you love her? Yeah. I feel like Daffy Duck. That's what I feel like with this little thing. But at least it'll keep my glasses from getting soaking wet. Today here in Alabama, we have got terrible weather. So as you know, just because it's bad weather doesn't mean that we get to sleep in and not go do animals. We still have to do animals even in this bad weather. But today, I'm going, the weather's supposed to start clearing up about 12 o'clock today. Um, the weather was really bad last night. Um, so what I plan on doing today is going ahead and letting the chickens, the poultry out, but I'm gonna leave the big animals up until it quits raining. So what happens when the whole climate starts changing with mothers? So I've gotta go out here and check on Shishi and Dee Dee even though I'm not gonna let the big animals out yet. This sweet mom has decided to go broody. Isn't she beautiful? So she has all kinds of eggs under her, keeping them nice and warm. Say, we'll see you little ones in about 20 days. Yesterday, Kayla's daughter's on spring break and she came yesterday and she cleaned out the duck pond and had it nice and crystal clear and look at it now because of the rain. Yeah. I bet she's gonna be so mad when she comes here and sees that. All right, I'm gonna walk out here. It looks like Dee Dee is eating hay, so no baby. Oh my gosh, they have pulled so much hay out of the hay off, but I've gotta find Shishi. Baby, it's raining. I'll let you out in a little bit. It's raining. Oh, I need to get this baby chicken. Come here, sugar. Come here. Mama get you. Come here. Okay. She must have spent the night out here and I didn't know it. Oh, let's see the sheep. Well, the sheep are back here. They're nice and warm, so they're good. You can see the alpacas are over there. They're fine. But I'm trying to look out here. Okay. Dee Dee's pooping, so I guess she's okay. Hmm. Now, boyfriend's going to go eat the poop. Oh, my goodness. You notice her tail's not returning. Hmm. They have knocked all that hay out. Leroy! I wish he would get in here. 
Look at him. He looks miserable. And he's just standing there in the rain. Okay, I'm going to run down here and look in Shishi's house to make sure she's okay. You know, they're probably all going to like, give birth in the middle of this weather. You know how that works. So, I just need to come and make sure she's okay. Hey, I'm liking this poncho. It's so much easier. Shishi! Everybody all right? Huh? Shishi, you okay? I just checking on you. Uncle Frey, you all right? Okay. If you need me, holler, Shishi. You call my cell phone, okay? I got you back if you need me. She's a good girl. Yes, she is. She's a good girl. Frey, you good boy. Y'all got these covers, y'all, nice and warm, nice and toasty. Oh, she, she. Oh, you just need some mama loving. Fred, you need some love. Hmm. I have her due tomorrow. We will see. Goodness gracious. Those are the babies. All right, let me go get this little one in some dry weather so she doesn't get sick. So there's something that I haven't told you. Tomorrow, which is Wednesday, is the day the group home comes, right? Where their production team is coming to film a commercial at our farm and interviewing me for the commercial and Kayla. So I'm sitting here thinking, it's a muddy mess out here because it's poured down rain for 24 hours and they've decided to film my farm in the middle of this mess. All right, I got the little one in here eating in the dry uh, weather. So hopefully he'll warm up or she'll warm up and get nice and toasty warm here in the coop. So anytime there's any type of filming on my farm or so forth, I like to make sure everything is squeaky clean you know, and it ain't happening today. I don't think Kayla and I will be able to, um, hey, I think I see the new pigeon baby. Looks like she's cleaning herself or maybe she has fleas. I don't know. I don't know. That's the first time I've actually seen her out in the morning time. All right, everyone got water last night, so I don't have to do water. Everyone has food. Babies are up. So I'm gonna go inside because today I need to run some errands since it's raining and I can't do any cleaning. I'm gonna run to the bank and try to get some things organized because as you know my house has been upside down from the tortoise uh, getting up under the water valve and flooding my house about a month ago well guess what everything is still a wreck because I'm waiting on the insurance company to get everything approved and contractors in place and I've been working really hard in the past two weeks trying to get all that in order and as well as you know we had our bedroom painted since our house was already a wreck i said okay i'm gonna just go ahead and tackle my bedroom get it done so we have we have a complete mess in our house but today i'm going to take the time to go run some errands and do some things that i needed to do the good thing about kayla working for me is that i can leave the house and not have to worry about Larry. Cause Kayla is coming today and she's gonna spend some time with Larry and hopefully entertain him. Cause he's, I think he gets bored, you know? He can't drive, he can't get out, he can't walk good. I, I feel sorry for him, but, and he doesn't like to play games or anything like that. He just likes to play on his phone. So when you guys comment, just know that Larry reads his comments and he loves them. 
Y'all know Sugar Bug had surgery yesterday, and it's so good to see in her in here eating her breakfast and doing well. Um, so looks like she's had a good success at having surgery. I need to check her incision just to make sure that her stitches are still in and she has not pulled them out. Looks like everything's still in place and she's doing well. I'm so glad. Cheers to you. This one's for you. So we're in Shane's old shop and he just brought me in here and I was shocked because everything has, well, everything has not been cleared out, but. It's making its way to the door. It is almost cleared out. All this. So take a good look because in the next year, this is all gonna be transformed into an education center. And I hope in here that magical things will happen. I'm just saying. I can't wait to see what all happens in here with the kids and adults and seniors and all that come in here. I'll have plenty of room. There's gonna be heat and air in here. I'll be doing incubation projects in here. I will be doing, I'm hoping to have a stage in here, but we will see. But you see, I want you to take a good look. All that is gonna go. All those bones up there, buddy. <laughs> um, but take a good look because all this is gonna be transformed into something absolutely incredible. I'm all fixed up and ready because today, Kayla and I will be featured in a commercial for the CCCDD Center. That is the group home that comes to me every Wednesday and has for the past couple of years. They're gonna film the commercial right here on Sneed's Farmhouse. So I'm geared up, getting ready because they'll be pulling in the driveway in the next 30 minutes. Um, and, and getting out here, all, trying to impress all the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you ready to go ride the side by side, Scotty? Do I need to move my truck? Uh, no. You ready to go? Does he know we pop wheelies? <laughs> should we tell him or should we just pop a wheelie? <laughs> Let's just pop a wheel and see if he notices it. <laughs> all right, he's got to get in. <laughs> all right, let's go. Okay, we have a disclaimer. Oh, you want to just shut it hard. So, me and, me and Scotty here get a little wild and crazy. We pop wheelies. <laughs> Are you ready, for, you ready to pop wheelies? Okay, here we go. Come in, Lily. Scotty's here. You put come see Scotty. Come here. Come here, Rogue. Come here, Rugi. Come here. Come here. <laughs> they see your camera. They're like, who's that? Come on. Come on, Rogue. Come on. <laughs> Dexter. Hey. Hey. You see, hound dog? Hold your hand out and see if they'll come up to you. There, hound dog, he is. He'll give you some loving.
Justin, are you going to dance with me today? At the end. Yes. You are? Yes. So you did bring your dancing shoes? Yes. Caleb. How are you feeling today? Good. You ready to dance? Yes. Yeah. We gonna dance together today? Yeah. You gonna sing for me? Yeah. What song do you wanna sing? <clears throat> what song? Hey, Caleb. Hey, Justin. Hey. How are you today? I'm good. How are you, buddy? I miss you. I miss you too. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. We're gonna dance today, okay? Okay. Oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. You and your grandma dance together? Yeah. Oh my goodness, do y'all sing songs? Yes. What do y'all sing about? Huh? Sing them about. Jesus. Jesus, that's the best songs to sing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. Golly, I love songs about Jesus. What's one that you do you know? Jesus loves can sing it for her too. Yeah. You think she'll sing with us? Yeah. Yeah. Can it be happy? Oh, yeah. She's gonna love it. Yeah, okay. Well, when you go home, you tell her. Stormy, you do such a good job. Oh, thanks. You are the rabbit whisperer. And you always do such a good job grooming him. And you, do you notice how still he still he sits for you? What? He sits so still and lets you groom him. Mm-hmm. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Yeah, and it was just kind of, but it kind of, but awesome. It is. And you're getting all his tangles out. Uh-huh. You know, I appreciate you coming every Wednesday to do that. Every Wednesday? Yes. <clears throat> You do such a good job. Mike, uh, huh, huh, thank you. Mike, uh, huh, huh, mm, Mike, uh, huh, huh, mm, Mike, uh, I have a brother, Skylar. He, he yelled at his, he yelled at, and he yelled at his, mm, watching me when I was, when I was, as grooming that rabbit. Oh, he was? What did he say about you grooming the rabbit? He said, gonna, he said, I will have to do the heads, as I do in the heads, I do head good. Yes, you did do a very good job. I used to stay up on Trying to find my place Chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace To lead me out of darkness Give me a little faith Something to make me stronger Someone who could like the way Then you came to me and You gave me reason uh, mm, 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 mm. I almost can't believe it Every time we touch I feel kind of fun filming wasn't it yeah it was it was a lot of fun so the filming's over and we decided to take that hunk of burning love right there to the amish bakery because when we touch is when i really come alive because mm, yeah. when we touch is when i really come alive
couldn't live without you Not even if I tried Cause every day I'm with you I'm flying over the clouds